All right, I clearly need a cart, so. And wow, look at that. Just white glove service, carts at the ready. I'm constantly on the go. Like if I'm home eight days straight, that's like considered a long time. And so the pandemic, it was like a four stop and it was the first time I was actually able to be in my home for longer than a week, which was really, really nice uh, for me because I realized how badly I needed routine. And so now kind of coming out of the pandemic and having created better boundaries, like this morning routine stabilizes me a little bit and like kind of grounds me in this place of like, I'm doing something for myself. I actually had someone tell me once, they were like, what brings you joy outside of your job? And I was like, whoa, that's a really big question because I love what I do. But I also was like, sometimes I feel like I don't have enough time. I'm just realizing like your job can't be your life. I'm in the kids section right now. It's super cute. And that's kind of when like, my, my love for books really, really did start. My mom is a very big reader and my dad is a journalist. So I was just always surrounded by books. And now books, like maybe top five source of comfort. I always have a book with me, almost exclusively thrillers right now. It's like an easy escape for me. And it's almost like a meditation, even though I'm reading like scary, <laughs> really scary books, but it doesn't bother me. Welcome to heaven. This is my heaven. We're surrounded by instant noodles. I brought you to my local Asian grocery store. I love it here so, so much. Let's see, what am I gonna get? This is a this is like your classic cup noodle, but this is seafood flavored. I found this at the uh, Japanese 7-Eleven uh, in, in Tokyo. And it was really, really good. And I can't find it anywhere else but here in this Asian market. So we're gonna grab one of these. Okay, so I love spice. And one of my favorite spicy ramens is, um, oh yeah, this one will get you. This is a Korean spicy ramen. Ooh, it's gonna hurt so good. I'm gonna grab uh, my last favorite ramen. Ah, I love you. It's spicy seafood, but it's udon noodles. Please like go to your local Asian market. It's like an experience in itself. I think cooking and food is a really great way to obviously learn about a culture. Oh, and grab some reusable chopsticks. I saw them at the end. Ha ha, these are great. All right, people, I'm gonna nestle, nestle her right here because I'm afraid it's gonna go through the grate. <sighs> Let's go home. <laughs> we just got to me. I was shooting my show. I always get the dogs at the worst possible mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like yep. it's so not convenient to have gotten Emmy on a press tour and it was so not yeah. convenient to get Timmy um, while shooting a television show. Mm -hmm. But when I'm having a mental breakdown, I, I, I immediately am like, give me a dog. Something we disagree on probably. It's our biggest argument. <laughs> is, Easily. I'm always like, don't cut his hair. Yeah. And I was gone for a day. I was gone for one day, I come home. Cut his hair. And he had cut his hair. Yeah, but you didn't even notice because I did such a good job. Yeah, because I threatened your life. I threatened your life. I said, don't mess us up. Help. <laughs> Help. <laughs> She's Like I like a crispier bottom to my dumplings, but then I'm gonna like lightly steam them, I think. So I'm just like checking. Yeah, so once they kind of get golden on the bottom, then I'll flip them and then I'll steam them for like a couple, just to make sure it's like totally cooked through is what I find works best. And I'm gonna start my ramen. I have my eyes locked in on this spicy seafood ramen. All right, we're going in, we're going in. If you know me or have followed me at all, ever, <laughs> um, you know that I love, love food. And food is such a huge source of comfort for me and also a way that I love to 
experience different cultures and learn about different cultures and and I like to gather around food. I think that like so many great conversations happen at the dinner table. I was adopted when I was very, very young and my parents always wanted me to know my culture and like made an, a big effort to make sure that I was still aware and, and know of my roots. And I think that's probably where my love for food is because they would like introduce me to Vietnamese food or they would like bring me to like various Vietnamese restaurants and like share with me the food of my people. Okay, so now I'm gonna add in the soup packet. Do we even wanna check how much sodium? I don't think so. We're just gonna go in. This is probably done, um, but I'll just like keep it going a little. Let's check on our dumplings. Okay, this is your spicy ramen. Let me know if you want more spice. Whoa. The noodle is perfect. It's so good. All right, I think that we should go, now that we've eaten, walk this off at the beach. What do you think? Oh. Yes? Let's do it. And then we'll take, our, we'll, take, we'll take Emmy and Timmy. That sounds good. All right, well, Thank good, you very good much. work. <laughs> good work, everyone. <laughs> I remember like before we got our home, like when we were in our transient home, we were like, we can't wait to like actually have a home, mm -hmm. have a community right. and take our two dogs for a yeah. walk. Yeah. Like that was actually a very specific dream that we dream both had of for ours years, years. Was to just be able to take a walk with our dogs. Yep. I mean, I feel like we've been through truly this weird whirlwind of a yeah. life together. Like we've yeah. been together for six and a half years, but it does feel like... Like six lifetimes? Six lifetimes and also six minutes. All right, you guys, we are going to go in and see the Krakens play and see my dad. We're gonna watch my dad. All right. Let's go. Let's... <laughs> How are you? Perfect timing. How's it going, man? This is my father. This is Bob. Bob. Bob, say hi. Hello, people. <laughs> my dad, he works for the Kraken. I mean, he's been working in sports journalism for his entire career. I love my dad, and he's always like let me be a part of things. Like he always let me sit and and watch the Olympics with all the other reporters. They call it the war room. I think just being around a sports environment my entire life has given me kind of a confidence and a strength that I'm grateful for. I love you guys so much. Thank you for hanging out with me, Vogue. We are gonna go watch some hockey now.